Welcome, travelers, to Bowman's Nose. There once was a huntsman by the name of Bowman, who would hunt on these very moors. With a pack of dogs, he did hunt hare and other game that would give chase. When stumbled, he did upon a coven of witches, overturning their coat in the pursuit of a hare. Out of the way, hags! Can't you see the hare in which I hunt? The witches did not rise to Bowman, and yet they plotted their revenge. Upon the morrow, one of the witches turned into a hare, and Bowman did chase her. Once again, the huntsman found himself amongst the witches. Not you wretched hags again! Stand aside as I hunt this! Before his eyes, the hare did transform into a witch. Huntsman! Your hunt is over. From flesh to stone. For we've got your nose. And in that moment, Bowman did turn from flesh to stone. As for the hounds, I'm afraid they met with the same fate. For now I leave you with a poem from a Devonshire poet, Nicholas Carrington. On the very edge of the vast moorland, startling every eye, a shape enormous rises. High it towers. Above the hill's bold brow, and seen from afar, assumes the human form a granite god, to whom in days long flown the supplement knee, in trembling homage bowed, the hamlets near, have legends rude connected with the spot, wild swept by every wind on which he stands, the giant of the moor. So remember the countryside code, take heed not to stray the path, better still. Don't walk down there.